What's up, creators? Ella on set from KSound.com. Let's talk about Loop Cloud 3.0. Here it is, Loop Cloud 3.0 by Loop Masters. If you are not already up on Loop Masters, you guys need to dive deeply into the system because it is pretty awesome. You and I know that if you are a music producer, you can never have too many sounds and what Loop Master does, they constantly update their database, the latest samples, loops, and different kits of all different styles and or genres. So in here you have your library section that, that involves what's on your computer, which is a new thing that they was doing inside of 3.0. So in here you can break things down such as instruments, genres, labels, which is the name of the actual kits formats you know the different types you got additional and then the, the cool thing i like about it is you can find your samples and loops according to keys also the cool thing about this is when you add something in here or to your computer it automatically tags it properly that's crazy right it does it for you you can also search for items specifically using the search key here and i'll say the most powerful thing about this is that it has a store section now this takes you straight to the store where you can purchase items straight on inside the app itself you won't be taken away from it it's just uh everything in here is point accumulated and this is where your points are you can see your point count here and if you need to buy more it actually takes you to the site where you add in your credit card credentials and that type of thing right but say for instance we uh i don't know just play one of these and see what it sounds like right so the cool thing is everything has a preview sound associated with it it just gives you an idea of, as to what you'll be getting in the kit itself and if you click on it or outside the play button you see all of the files that are associated with this actual kit here it comes with like loops and like one shot samples and um, effects and things like that say if i want to dive a little bit deeper in here and play some of the the sounds that i that that's associated i can go ahead and play it here And you can see here that um, everything is broken down into uh, the appropriate tags. This is 85 BPM. This is in the key of F sharp. This is a bass sound. It's a part of the loop family and it's a wave. This is the type of file it is. And it has these additional tags, chill out, down tempo, hip hop. And it's a loop master thing, you know, it's from, and that's, that's the label here. And then you have the additional tag, which is tonal. Now another cool thing about this is this syncs with your DAW. In this case, we're going to be using Machine, which by the way, it says connected to unknown. That's because Machine and Loop Cloud has not did their thing yet. They, they didn't handshake off yet. So, you know, we're just waiting, looking forward to them guys linking up, doing their thing so we can see Machine fall in place in the title here. I usually use Studio One and I can see it say Studio One, but it, it really doesn't matter guys, just as long as you have whatever and it supports third party VSTs or AU, this should work fine. Basically you do that by going to, you have to be on sound here. You could do this from your machine as well. Let's do this on a separate track here. So you go plus sign, you're gonna look for Loop Masters and then you're going to go for loop cloud and pick either one that, that that makes sense in this case i have loop cloud already loaded up here so it's just a small interface it's nothing to it is it's just pretty much an audio meter it's, it's talking to the actual plugin itself or the actual software so basically this is like software or app or whatever you want to call it this this is actually something that has to be installed on your computer. This is not a plugin, if you will, but it's like it, it syncs inside of this thing here and it talks to the DAW, which allows this to be sped up or slowed down. Or I'm, I'm gonna show you guys. So like if, if I play that and say on machine, we was to change the note. I'm sorry, change the tempo.
right? So it slowed down. So say I. Sped the tempo up to like maybe 136. Right? So whatever I set inside a machine, this talks to it. So we're going to hit 2x. Right? Or I can slow it down. Play a half time. And then we have patterns. This is more like note repeat in my opinion. Note repeat with rhythm. So let's take that off. Let's see what that sounds like. Right? So that's what that's for. Then I could change the pitch on it. Let's just try that. Now, this is really cool because you can do all these things even before you insert. So say I wanted to buy that file. All I have to do is click on here. I can go here and it says it's in my library and it automatically update this section right here to where it says original or process. Now, because we did what we did to it, I want to grab the process track and move this over just a tad bit and basically I'm just going to put it on the empty track here. So sound four or pad four. So this is the process. But say I didn't want the process, the process track, say, or the process sample. Say I wanted the original. I can get the original as well and put it right in here. And then we can hit pad five. Right, and I could do the same thing as I am used to doing if I was to use a sample or a loop coming from any machine kits or loops or whatnot, right? So I can go here and, you know, something I like to do is change this to ADSR. This is just to make it correspond with when I touch it and let go. Or I could change the start. Say I only wanted the snare. Trim the track or I can go to sample and do what I need to. It's, it's, it's the same same process. All we're doing here is taking the sample within Loop Cloud because we're dealing with samples, right? And we could do everything that we're used to. Chop it up how we need to. Right? Truncate it. Apply. Now we have a snare just from that section. I'm going to play with this sample that I downloaded earlier. I'm going to change the engine. It was the regular sampler. So now we're going to go to the audio, which is something new in machine in case you guys didn't know about that. It's, it's more of a smarter audio engine that responds to the sample and the tempo of the track. So th that means that if I uh, uh, speed or slow down the track, it, it, it will correspond nicely so right now we at 150 bpm but i think i want to slow it down somewhere around there like 125 that's really cool right and then when i hit stop it stopped right instead of continuously going on and on and on okay so let's go back into loop cloud i like this kit big room trap so let's extend this folder let me show you guys something now now i say the the other most powerful thing about this here is when you go on for new sounds you know, because you link the two together, you can go here and play the track from your dog and it will link 
and it will play everything as if you already added it and, and then you could change up and see what you want and then you mess around with the you know process or whatever so let, let me let me show y'all that now so um i'm messing around with this here uh what is this let's play that so let's hit start on machine right and i could just keep going I actually like that without the kick. Now I'm used to uh, dragging and dropping, so <laughs> you, you got to be careful that you don't drag over the, the you know, anything like that. So you got to make sure that you uh, you buy the file first, and um, I mean, obviously, if you have it already, you can just bring it over with no problem. I'm gonna put it on the fourth pad here. Let's go back in here. Um, let's see what else. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's hit play on the machine. I like that. I can also hit buy from here. So let's put this on the fifth pad. All right. So let's say, for instance, right? All right. So I'm going to change the engine like I did before to the audio, and then I'm going to turn it into a gate change the change from loop to a gate that way i can access that whenever i need it so i'm thinking like this all right so let's double this pattern here let's get out of that and let's go So now go back to scene, let's duplicate that. Let's pick another pattern because I don't want it to repeat the pattern. Let's get out of that. So, so let's change that that engine to audio so we could do the same thing. Change it to actually I can loop it. That should be fine. Right, something like that, right? You can also randomize your search results. I consider this button right here to be more like rhythm roulette where you go blindfolded inside of a record store and you just pull anything and you just gotta try to do what you gotta do with whatever you pull, you know what I mean? So that's that randomize button right here. Um, you can favorite different samples or whatever, which is cool because it puts it in this folder and you can always go back to it. Um, I always love the favorite button. If you need to make them, them edit edits, the edit, editing your tags, that button is right here. Um, the cool thing about this as well, like I thought this was really fascinating. I don't know. You go through some things and you're like, oh, okay, I like that. But let, let me keep going and see what else I can find. And if I don't find anything, I'm going to go back. But you forgot to hit the like button or the favorite button. Well, there is a history a navigation system here it tells you about everything you just did so you can always go back to everything you clicked on you know what i mean it records all your clicks now this is another great feature about this situation right here i love it 
this is really awesome so you can go back okay yeah that's where i was you know what i'm saying that's really cool this was this is how you add your local content to loop cloud like i showed you i told you guys you could do that if you need to get to your preferences whatnot check for updates blah 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 that type of thing that is through here and that's it guys there you have it my name is ella from ksound.com remember music is art you the artist paint your picture stay creative without rules enroll right now and unleash the creativity that lies within you ku.creative.com creative university stay creative without rules one more thing if this voice intrigue you and the music make your soul move. My name is Ellen. Thank you. <laughs> I'm done.